Alright, hi there YouTube, uh, yeah, so you guys saw in the last video, and like I know there's no views, so nobody saw it yet, but I made a video recently and a few weeks ago, basically I'm exhausted every day, I go out, hold a sign, try to find work, etc, but um, I'm pretty much improv and right now exactly what my heart I'm trying to figure out is wanting me to make a video and tell so I start out by saying God loves you and have a blessed day and maybe someday some people who actually view this it might get a few views hopefully God willing but um so anyways there's a lot going on and I know one thing I've been working on I guess that I have to work on is my my judgment towards others our dad is dating this girl who is crazy and mentally unstable and she assaults she saw she assaulted our brother a few week, a few weeks ago about a month ago in this car through through drinks at him and stuff and then basically and she's completely yelling and t arguing with herself cursing pointing at herself at things that aren't there and she thinks oh, people from Oklahoma are out to get her and that our dad's in conspiracy and our dad's in the motel below them that where they're both at like he's right there and she thinks that he's below her and that he's having sex and drugs with other people below them but that makes no sense anyways. There's a lot going on in our life, and I'm just, I just, I've been working on judgment, I've been having to, and so I guess maybe that's what I should make this video about, is try not to judge others, and like it's hard even if you know that they are this way or that way, and that they are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, that they are really crazy, you, I guess it's not my place, it's, I know I could pray for a person, like I've been, you know, my dad's basically going through the same thing that he was telling me for years, because he was struggling with drugs, and we argued about it all the time, he was selling it and using it and we struggled all the time about it and argued and so we ended up separating me and my brother went one place and stayed at our own place and then he and our other our other brother went together and they did their stupid you know drug adventures and their friends and it was stupid and then they eventually came back to us it was funny you know like not funny like haha -ha, but you know the irony right there it must have been for them they thought they were you know you know whatever and oh don't judge me and it was like oh you can't change me you can't make me do this all you can do is pray for me now he's with his girlfriend and he knows it's crazy and he's like now I know how you felt now I'm turning into you he's like I want her to change but I can't make her and he's like so but but he can't leave her either but there's no love there there's no love he's with her I feel like because he's afraid of being alone and he doesn't he, he doesn't realize I'd rather be alone all my life and not have a, a, a wife and kids and etc because I'm not alone I have God and if you can find you, if you can find enjoyment in your life and you can find your relationship with God and you can connect on that level first and you put God first in life, everything else will follow. Put Him first and everything else that your heart desires will, will follow. As long as it's truly from, you know, from, from your heart and from God. But if you have evil intentions and if you have a wicked heart and you have a, you know, basically a deceptive heart, one that will lie to you, that will, you know, oh, this is from God, I want to be with this person, it's okay to have sex, it's okay to do this and that, they're married, they won't, you know, God says that they're being abused, your heart's lying to you, your mind's lying to you, there's no excuse to sleep with a married person, and, I don't know, God says in the Bible, he'd rather you put it in the belly of a whore, so, then, you know, on the floor or whatever, something like that in the Bible, it's some, some quotes like that, so, I guess when it comes to sex with someone that's single, two people, I, you know, I'd rather do that than masturbate or anything stupid. And this is just awkward conversation now. But anyway, I struggle with my own issues at times, like judgment and stuff, and and etc. And I'm right now, I'm I'm single and I'm fine with that. I'm happy. My dad thinks that I'm miserable because he's miserable in a relationship, so he thinks I'm miserable out of a relationship. I'm fine. I'm happy with it. He's always mocking me. You've never had a real relationship. You've never really fell in love with anyone. Uh, okay. So I didn't know what love was when I was like in fifth grade and I had a crush on this girl, but I was too embarrassed to tell her. I didn't know what love was when I wrote a letter to this girl I liked in eighth grade. I wrote it to her in the ninth grade, couple, like two years later, and I got rejected. I didn't know what that was. Okay. And then there was girls that did like.